Well, welcome to a new episode of Dave's Classic Garage Tours, and today I'm back at Maranello Persang to see two examples of one of my favourite cars, the Lancia Fulvia Coupe. A bit of work to show you in this one, and a deep dive into the Series 1 model history. So I hope you enjoy it. It's a delicate little job you've got going on there, John. Yeah, we're checking the um, valve timing. Valve timing, uh-huh. Mm. So what did you, you were tightening the uh, chain no, just, a earlier, wasn't it? No? No. I was just doing that. No, what we're going to do, we're going to set certain gaps mm -hmm. on the uh, valve clearances and then we're going to turn it in and see where it actually, if the valve timing is actually good or bad. It's uh -huh. advanced or retarded. So what would the uh, customer come in complaining of? It hasn't been running for about 10 years. Oh right, okay. And he just wants to get it all up and running. Mm -hmm. He's had the head done by someone. So we're just double checking to make sure the valve tightens. Would those gaps change over time with the age of the engine? Uh, as the timing chain stretches, it's possible. Uh huh. Oh, so just sitting in a garage for years, eh? It's a Fulvia. It's just a Fulvia. What's this one? Um, I think it's a Rally. Oh, Rally. Two. Oh, All right. No, it's just a, it's just a, a full beer, standard full beer. And with it's a one, 1.2. 1.2, look at that. Beautiful inside. God. Well, the rallies are normally 1.3. 1.3 or 1.6, aren't they? Went the later no, ones? The HF, HF. 1.6. Uh, the sorry. rallies are 1.3. Uh huh. Then you get the, the 1.3 S. Which is sports. Yeah. They've got different camshafts in them. I think that calls for a little clarity of the Fulvia Coupe's model history, the Series 1 at least. Designed in house by Piero Castagnero, the 1.2 was introduced in 1965, the first of three series before being superseded by the infamous Beta Coupe. The first Lancia to sport the high fidelity badging, the competition focused Coupe HF came later in 65, carrying a tuned version of the Coupe's 1216cc engine. An air cooler, new camshafts, and larger carburetors provided a 10% power increase, up from 79 horsepower at 6,000 RPM on the Coupe to 87 horsepower at 6,000. But the performance gain was magnified by virtue of removing the bumpers and switching the bonnet, doors and boot lid for aluminium versions, installing plexiglass side and rear windows and losing the steel wheel hubcaps. The 1967 Rally 1.3 was essentially an updated coupe, with the same 1298cc engine as the HF but with less of the tech. It managed to pump out 87 horsepower at 6000 RPM. The same year saw the release of the Rally 1.3 HF, and thanks to new camshafts and higher compression, the little V4 now stretched to a mighty 101 horsepower at 6,400 RPM. The Rally 1.3 S appeared a year later in 68 with a thoroughly modern alternator instead of a generator and an electric fan. Despite the 1.3 HF's competitiveness, Lancia's works rally team boss Cesar Fiorio knew it would be short-lived and campaigned for a new high-performance rally car to compete with the ever-evolving Alpine A110 and Porsche 911 as they had just begun a factory-backed competition program. What transpired was the now revered Rally 1.6 HF, widely known as the Fanaloni, Italian for big lamps due to its use of larger inner headlamps. It hadn't been an easy berth though as Lancia's technical director Antonio Fessia wasn't fussed about the rallying program and opposed any further development of the Fulvia. Undeterred engineer Ercole Zaccone Mina designed the now legendary 1.6 HF engine almost entirely at home in his spare time. The final result, a completely new V4 engine producing 
114 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. For those buyers looking to race their HF, there was an even more powerful version, the Variante 1016, which sported higher compression pistons, an even more aggressive camshaft profile, and larger carburetors. The Variante produced up to 132 horsepower at 6,600 RPM and would be the basis of the car that went on to win the 1972 Monte Carlo Rally. On the Turini again, it's Munari. That year's manufacturer's championship. By the rally's end at breakfast time next morning, only 24 cars had finished the course. And set in motion Lange's dominance of the 70s rally scene with its Fulvia successor, the Stratos. <laughs> oh, giving it to the 80 year old. <laughs> Right. Uh, no, I'm good. Because we won 100, so. I think I've gone 5 over. <coughs> so you've got 75 and 35, that's 100. No, no. 90. Was that 90? Yeah, yeah I might have mucked it. Let's just pick up another one. 90. 55, 55. There you go. And two? Fifty-five and fifty. Alright, it's the same thing. One oh five. So the only one with decent <laughs> eyesight in the house is the octogenarian. Yeah. Octogenarian. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> Stop answering that. And then fifty-five. 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 Mm. No, because it's fairly blows up. So being retarded it came and pulls thing to fail up. I need the screwdriver. Jesus, it's stuck. Screw it properly. So, has this engine been around for a while? Would it have been? It hasn't been. Has ever been serviced properly? No, did oh right, this one right. But what about the design of this engine? This goes back quite no, far. Twenty. Really? Lance and Lambda, they were fifteen degrees V four, yeah, and they had the patent. Lance had the patent for sixty years. So, nineteen twenty. This design goes back to. Mm. Gee. So the other, the other thing with this engine is, like at any stage of the uh, manufacturer, launcher engine was so balanced that they, they could rev a thousand revs more than any other engine at, say, the same period. Right. When, when did they finish using this design? <clears throat> 70. 1600 HF was the last. Yeah, I need to hold. I need a breaker bar or something. Here. This one. Oh, perhaps even this one. So it wasn't serviced particularly well in its life, do you reckon, this one, John? This one? Yeah. It looks pretty clean. What's, t what's telling you that? What's telling you the... Oh, no, the owner. <laughs> gotcha. He was saying that 
the fouls up plug and I said, well, I said, you've got to, you've got to start from scratch, check compression, leak test, valve timing, carburation, plugs. Yeah. Well, he, well he, he didn't have time, he had other work to do. Yeah, yeah. I think it was tight. It was tight and properly. <laughs> What would be a common issue on these engines? A common issue? Yeah, any particular things on well used ones or what you got to look out well, for? They go forever. <laughs> well, what was it? The Zagato body, they had to change the diff ratio because it was over revving in top gear. Right, okay. With the aerodynamic. Oh really? Oh wow. Well. So what would you Somebody somebody <laughs> See the timing mark is there, that line there with the on with the line on the pedestal. Right. Okay. So that's out, and that's out, okay? Now, somebody, if you look at the front here, they did their own timing. Ah. Uh -huh. Right? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Professional backyarders. Working. <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't know that there was timing mark on the other Thunder side. marks on the other, yeah. So the, the main thing that they suffer is for bad service. Right, okay. And as you can see there. Right. Yeah. So, you got it? Has it come out? No, it hasn't come out, that's the problem. Yeah, all, all the thing there. Yeah. It's good and proper. That should just slide out, especially now. It's full steady. Can you see from that side? I need to lift it off that spout. Should be there. Yeah. Well, it's resting on the um, I need to lift the camshaft up a little bit, the, the gear. Mm. I need to lift the gear up so because it's resting on the um, on the, the housing. Just need mm. to try and... no. won't come out. You can get a pair of pliers to grab it there. Okay. Stop. Jesus. What a bunch. Guns are coming out. Mm -hmm. 
ça peut mettre. And then this one too. And then we'll do, we might be able to we'll get one of the gears out. Mm. And then we, we can take the gears out and push it out. to this locator. Yeah. That up. Huh? Still want to come out? No. Jesus. <laughs> oh. That's supposed to just pop out, is it? Yeah. It's supposed to just well, pull out. Yeah. Oh, well, we need to... We need to get this one out. End that they've used to. Yeah, it's oh, just the right they've, okay, right? they've just butchered it. You just hit it with the hammer because you've got to line the, your holes up and then yeah. tap it in, and they've just destroyed the locator. Right. Okay. Looks like yeah. 14 feet side. How much? 14. Fuck. Well, they haven't put that on there. <laughs> Seeing which way they mark the timing. Yeah. That's not right. Which way they mark the timing? On the pen? On the front? On the pen. They hit it with the chisel. The bend. Right here. And yeah. then on the pulley here in the front. <laughs> now we need to own now the, the locating hole. Right. right. Again, they've butchered it, the little um, the, the, the little eyes. Couldn't get them out. Pins. The scarbon eyes, so the, the, the locating pin doesn't go in. Right, They're okay. It's supposed to slide in. Yeah. Just, mm -hmm. just there. Yeah, you can put that back. Yeah. Well. Yeah. 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 Can you hold that? And what will they be cleaned out with then? Well, we we'll need to sort of. Uh, that little guide has got to fit inside the little hole. It's yeah. got to slide in, not... So it's, it's, it's carboned up. Yeah. There's odd number between that and the camshaft. Right. And how are you going to clean the carbon out? With a drill? Right. <laughs> right, okay. So you have to, that's the original pin, yeah? Yeah. And you're putting a screw down into it to... To hold it. To Need something a bit more. Need a drimmer with a little brush on it, don't you? Wire brush. Job for another day then. Huh? Yeah. I'm open because my battery's about to go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks later. Uh, 
Okay. John, um, the last time I saw you on this, it was uh, way past way past five o'clock. <laughs> You know, after, after six, <laughs> you, know, you got away. A uh, young fellow said you didn't get away till after seven. I reckon that. Oh, that night, about right? seven. Seven o'clock. Yeah. So it's a couple of weeks on. You were waiting for, on some parts. I can see it's back together a bit now. What, what's what's been done so far? Well, we did uh, the well reset the camshaft timing because it was four four teeth retarded, which is about. Uh, I 10 degrees retarded on the valve timing. Right. So okay. that would cause like plugs to fail up. So did that and readjusted the tap heads. Uh, we finished up changing the carburetor Venturi because it was burnt. The, the carburetor must have caught fire sometime. Right. And they burned the Venturi so we changed that and we changed the top of the carburetor because it was leaking through the, the, the union. Point out the parts on that carburetor that you've had to change there. Well, it was inside, Sorry. the Venturi inside. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. It's actually inside. Oh, yes, I recall, yeah. Yeah, that was all burnt out, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we replaced one of these because it was stripped at the top. Uh-huh. And. Uh, that the cleaner of the two there is the new one, yeah. Yeah. Um, finding that part was uh, how was that? Is, is it well, easy to we come had by? <laughs> somehow we we're lucky we had one in the back. All oh, right. In the junk store. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the yeah. Cool. Well, we sort of normally you're supposed to throw things out, right. but sometimes you got to put them aside and say, well. Sometime they might come available. Absolutely. And this one did. Yeah, so, I, bet, I, mean, I presume there's a lot of things like that in the past that you think back now, I wish you'd kept hold of. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so after we put new plugs and checked, adjusted the timing, started it up and it ran, we, it ran pretty well, but uh, we haven't run it for too long because we waited for the radiator to be. Right. Because it needs a new core. And the radiator is what being a new one coming in or yeah. recon? No, well, it's going to be rebuilt. Right, okay, yeah. By auto cooling. Okay. So they're going to put a new core. Inner core, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay, okay. They use the old tanks and just uh, solder up the new core. Right, right, okay. So, and then you think that'll be ready to go then? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. It'll be ready to fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and um, that's a strange thing, isn't it? You had the same situation you do your Wednesdays. You come in here this morning and saw the same as I did. Let's have a little look around the corner. What we got around there? <laughs> we had a bit of a mistake in identity. Hello, Raz. Now, let's, we'll just go back and have a quick little run around there. Not, oh, look at that lovely paint shine. I mean, it could do with a nice buff up and whatever, but... Anyway, the owner is a, he's a panel beater, so... Oh, is he? So he, he can, he's waiting for it to go properly before he repaints it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so, but yeah, case of mistaken... Oh, jeez. Yeah. What's happened here? That's not just sunburnt, that's a dodgy paint job on that. Been under a tree and all the oh, <laughs> right of the tree may have fallen on it. Yeah. Oh, sap and that, you reckon? Well, that, sun, yeah. and bad paint job. Yeah. Which was, has been resprayed, so. That's strange, isn't it? Getting two, it's exactly the same model, isn't it? Uh, well, what's this say, yeah? No. A ra that's that's rally. A rally, rally. 1.3. Oh, right. And that one's at 1 1.2. Is that a rally as well? Would it be? Fulvia 1.2. Yeah, 1.2. So what's the difference between the rally version? Well, 100 cc. <laughs> oh, right. Ah, <laughs> gotcha. Uh, okay. Okay. I gotcha. Do we know what's in, what we got in? 
what this is in for. What hasn't been run for a year. Get it started, service, check over and report. Well, okay. same sickness. <laughs> name, same situation. You're looking forward to this one then, eh? Crikey. Yeah. All right. So uh, what, what do you want today? Uh, well, I'm doing a different gearbox on the on the seven, 75. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's something new for you. Let's have a look at the back. All right. Okay. So we've done the, the gearbox. Yep. Put all new synchros. Um, we put new clutch. Um, we we changed a couple of the lock plates on the limited slip D. Okay. Um, over all the calipers. Yeah. Put new disc, new brake pads, new hoses. Right. It's not often uh, we get to see this out uh, out from underneath so, the car, but with the uh, yeah in inboard uh, brakes and everything. Cool. Yeah. That's something. Uh... Yeah. So you've gone to town on that one, eh? Yeah. Well. It was a different colour when it came. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. So and that's the engine out of it, but uh, uh, we waited on a decision with a it needs reconditioning. Is that the two two litre? Yeah. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Have you driven the, those seventy fives? How do you rate between a Busso three litre and one of the two litre uh, Clover Leafs? Well, I, I I enjoy the two liter because it gives less problem in the engine. <laughs> <laughs> Working on them, right? Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's easier to work. Basically. Sure. Yeah. But what about performance-wise and and drivability and, and what have you? Well, drivability they pretty well the same. Performance-wise, the V6 is the three yeah. liter is much better. And but it sounds. It's good. got a bit more. Yeah. More herbs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and sounds a darn sight better, yeah? Yeah, sounds, yeah. sounds better. All right, okay. Cool. Okay, Giancarlo. We were waiting right. on the um, yep radiator. on the radiator. As you can see, we've got the radiator in. Yeah. And also, the last episode, we were doing the um, cam timing. So that, that's not a new rad. That's new core and everything. Yeah, that that's all been off. redone. It's a brand new core. The old yeah. tanks have yeah. been re recycled. Uh huh. So the, the the actual the top and bottom tanks are still original, and yeah. then they put a new core into it. These are all brass, so they can rebuild them. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. not like the new ones now or aluminium plastic. Yeah. They're very tight. As you can see, there's not much room. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because of the fan and the way it's constructed. Yeah. Uh, there's not much room in there, so you've got to be very careful. And if they're too high, they'll hit the bonnet. Uh-huh. So, and if they're too large, they won't go in uh -huh. because you've got the, the headlight. See, it's very tight against the headlight. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, some models are there. even got, I think it's the HFs, they've got the little cutaway. In on, the the, on the actual on the actual headlight oh, on, right, the back, the on the backing. Yeah, right, yeah. All right. So this one, okay. as you can see now, we've got it all together. Cam timing's done. We've got the carburetors on. You've still got one issue that's just cropped up, though. You found. Yeah. Well, the the brake mass on was playing up. All right. And um, so we're just going to give right. you a bit of a demonstration after we put it all back together. Cool. I can still start it. So here we go. We'll start it up. Oh, I see it. Here we go. Here we go. Sounds all right. 
except for a car that's been sitting for about three years. Yeah, yeah. All right, nice one. Got it, son. Yeah. That's positively purring. Any issues though you think you said? So might have a bit of smoke, you reckon? Uh, yeah, I think it's blown a little bit of smoke. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. We need to go for a bit of a run, retune the carburetors. But I think uh, one cylinder could have a problem with the rings. Rings, right, yeah, right. So okay. um, yeah. that's the next stage. Will, so he, will he take it away before doing that? Or? Well, I'm not sure what he wants to do, but he might have want the engine redone. Right. Because right. it hasn't been running for such a long time, and it was. Um, he's always known that it's fouled up one plug. Yeah. But because he's had it sitting for so long, it's had so many issues, and then it carburetor's caught on fire. Yeah. And then, yeah. so it's yeah. just been one drama after another, so we finally got it running now. Yeah. We just need to get the brakes yeah. up and running, How and then we'll go for a run. How long, if it, you know, if it is uh, the valves and whatever, before serious issues arise, if he, if he does just take it, take it away after, at well, this point? Well, what's going to happen is the plug will eventually foul up. Right. So he can, I mean, he can drive it. It's just it'll get to the stage where it, it'll just oil up, yeah, and then yeah. one cylinder will just start missing. Missing, and then, yeah. 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 So cool. it just depends on how bad it is. Yeah. So All right. it can't be any worse than what it was. No, definitely. <laughs> That's good. Thanks for that. If you love this video, you're gonna absolutely love this one. So click on the screen and watch that, and I'll see you in the next video.